Uh, I was invited by RSB to present a talk entitled Bird Migration Case Study of the Eurasian Spoonbill, Platalaya Locorea Locorea, in the Atlantic Coastal Migration Area of Senegal. Next slide, please. Yes. The outline is uh, after introduction, I talked about case studies ecology of Eurasian spoonbill in the Atlantic coastal migration area of Senegal. And the last conclusion. Next slide. Right. A uh, flyway is the entire area occupied by the migratory bird species or group of species or different population of the same species. So uh, with the, with, which it moves in an annual cycle from breeding to wintering area uh, to complete their cycle, their life cycle. Uh, this area also include resting and feeding place where bird migrate. Uh, in the first map, uh, we have general flyway based on different species group, waters, for example. In the, the blue, we have East Atlantic flyway. And the next slide in uh, right, uh, we have example of uh, sub a subspecies of red knot Calidris canutu around the world, the migratory flyway of all subspecies. Uh, next slide. Uh, in this map, you have agreement. Uh, the area in red shows the Iowa region. Iowa is agreement on the conservation of African Eurasian migratory water bird. Next, next. Next slide. Yes. Nothing is wrong. You want a different slide? Thank you. Yes, yes. In this, this map, one? yes, mm -hmm. we have the area in red shows the Iowa region is a political instrument aiming to conserve migratory water bird in the large geographical region. Iowa is agreement on the conservation of African Eurasian migratory water bird. And the other political flyway in uh, blue is in uh, uh, Americas uh, and uh, the green is Central Asia and East Asia, Australia. Uh, next slide. Okay. Uh, this video show, no, no, next, before, yes. You put in the video, this video shows the migration of Eurasian Sprumbin from Warden Sea to Senegal. The sound, you don't have the sound. Uh, the sound, I can hear it from here. Uh, okay. They separate to, to several migratory routes, but come together at one point on the East Atlantic coast. We have different group in, we arrive in Portugal in Cadiz.
Yes. In Mauritania, yes. Morocco, Mauritania, and they finish in Senegal. Thank you for the run equipo of uh, Francesco Ortas. Thank you. Next slide. Uh, this map, we have a critical site for water within the project area. For example, Sembe project at Bird Life, Coastal Migratory Bird uh, Project. Uh, water bird, which are mostly migratory, can fly long distance in their annual migration, migration cycles and often follow migration routes or flyways, linking their breeding site to the to all the areas important for their survival. Yes, next. However, many stopover and no breeding sites non-breeding area are under threat and have a direct impact on water bird survival. Next slide. Um, we have uh, 184 species in the project are Palearctic and Nearctic migrants. Next slide. But around uh, 90 of these species are water birds. They are recorded in terms of the percentage of each species present in these critical sites in relation to their over, overall population. Next. Okay. Among the first 10 species recorded, there is the Razian spoonbill, Platalaya leucorrhea, where almost a third of its world population spends time on these critical sites, particularly in Mauritania in Senegal. The main objective of this study is to achieve a better understanding of the dynamic of Eurasian spoonbill. Uh, the strategic objective one is to conduct the regular census of one selected species in three sites along the Senegalese coast. And the a specific objective too is to carry out a study on the ecology and migratory movements of the Eurasian spoonbills uh, by quantifying the actions that could exist between the different colonies in the three sites. Uh, next slide. Uh, we have a case study spoonbill. In this map, you have distribution by subspecies and population. Uh, Platelea locoregia had extensive but fragmented, fragmented distribution in the Palearctic. As the world population is estimated at between uh, uh, 63,000 and 65,000 uh, individuals. Uh, here uh, we have Platalea Locoregia Alcheri in, uh, um, in gray, uh, in the Red Sea and Somalia. And uh, here in blue, we will have uh, Platalea Locoregia Balzasi located in the West Africa coast, Mauritania. And you have uh, in green, uh, Platalea Major, Western Asia uh, and South Southeast Asia. We have Platalea Locoregia Locoregia. We have two population uh, divided in two groups. Uh, we have Platalea in Central and South Europe, Mediterranean, Tropical Africa, and Platalea Locoregia Western Europe, Western Mediterranean, West Africa. It is this population that is the focus on this study. Next slide. Yes, we have uh, the biometrics for this species. We have juvenile and so adult. Uh, this species is classified by USN, uh, list consent, and Annex 2 on CTES uh, is uh, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered uh, Species of Wild Wild Fauna and Flora. And uh, in the map, you have the three sites, uh, the three study sites in Senegal. Next slide.
next. Okay, we have some generalities referring to the uh, video. Uh, the ringing, uh, ringing for spoon bill, they begin in 1980, a group of Netherlands researchers working on Eurasian spoon bill accumulated more than 100,000 observations of the last 25 years. The ringing campaign led to the identification of the bond again in Mauritania and Juge in Senegal as important wintering area for the Netherlands spoon mill. And the post-nuptial migration start in September and the birds are on their wintering ground by November. Uh, these birds move along the Atlantic coastal flyways that stretch from the Netherlands to Senegal, referring to the last, uh, uh, the, the previous video. Next. We are uh, use this methodology for a uh, jute park. We have jute park here uh, in the Point, red point, uh, black point is the site observation site, uh, and uh, we have miradors and orange. At Jude Park, the cones are carried out um, uh, in seven sectors of the park, and the team start work at the same time, uh, for example, 8 a.m., to avoid double counting. Depending to the sector, we have seven sectors. The cones are carried out on foot or by boat. At the end of the cones, the data uh, is centralized on the single database so that it can be added together to obtain the result for each sector. Uh, next slide. Uh, next slide. And the second slide is a uh, technopole is urban wetland. Uh, the site is subdivided by uh, five sectors, uh, and spoon bills are counted on food generally lasting two hours. Is is in Dakar urban wetland? You see spoon bill, and uh, behind you see cities, and the picture is me. Next slide. And the last site is uh, Palmarin. Uh, we have uh, the spoon bill are also counted by cart. Here I am in the cart. And we start at 7 a.m., uh, the coastal part of the reserve. In the map, you see a uh, set Baobab, Panjaka, and uh, yes, Panjaka is the coastal part of the reserve which includes the pan, um, this is the feeding area of spoonbill in Palmarin. And after two hour monitoring, we move to the, to the Nyasam sector um, in the mangrove swamp, which is their dormitory, uh, where all the individual on the side return when the sun is uh, at its zenith, for example, midday. Mm, next slide. Uh, we, we we use this methodology for uh, monitoring uh, behavior, monitoring. Two observation methods were used to determine the behavior of individuals throughout the day. Um, focal observation of a single individual for five minutes and scan observation of group of 10 individuals. This procedure was repeated at a 30 minute interval for around four hours. The behavior observed were cleaning, foraging, resting, and flying. Uh, next slide. Uh, during uh, next. next. Yeah. Okay. Next, yes. Next again. <laughs> okay, next again. Uh, during the break in the behavior study, the ring are read. Uh, 
On this ring reading link, you will find a table shows the person to contact in each country for information on the bird life story. And in this table, here is example of the life story of spoonbill ringing in France with detail of the different places it visited and the people who read the ring. Next, you see in uh, circle red, my name. Next slide, yes, here you, you see the last person who reads the, the ring. Then next slide. Um, next, okay, this is uh, the statistical uh, statistics, statistical analysis. Uh, data analysis were carried out with and using a Bayesian multinomial categorical model that models the probabilities of all behaviors. It was reasonable in informative priors. And all the results are summarized by their mean and the 95% uh, uh, high density interval, indicating the highest probability for the uh, posterior. Next slide. And this map, you have result for spoonbill in each uh, site. We have more than uh, 50 spoonbill in uh, Technopole, more than uh, um, 500 spoonbill in Palmarin and Jutar. We have record uh, 3,500 spoonbill. Uh, is the maximum, the highest number in the um, wintering period. Next slide. And here's a lock. Yes, next. Yes, thank you. Next, uh, lock mentioned that the migration of Eurasian spoonbill stop of Stop in the north of Senegal. However, during the course of this study, we tracked Eurasian spoonbill at three sites in Senegal, and their presence were confirmed uh, behind the north in Dakar on the Petit Court. Uh, next, uh, these results yes, provide new insight into the wintering distribution of Eurasian spoonbill in Senegal. Next slide. Next again, uh, we have spoonbill number at various study sites from 2017 to 2019. Next again, uh, here Jude and Palmare are priority wintering sites. They regularly reach 1% of the East Atlantic population. Is a criterion of site importance. Next, Technopole is a secondary or resting site. Next slide. Okay, next. Uh, this more or less reflects the fidelity of their individual or their wintering site. Next. Okay, next. Here we have uh, monitoring the weather relation behavior of a group of Spoonville individuals at Jute and Palmarin between 2017 and 2019. Uh, four behavior patterns are represented over the course of the day. Cleaning, <clears throat> uh, cleaning, we have foraging, resting, and flying. Flying in red, uh, in orange, you have cleaning, and gray, you have resting, and foraging in um, black or gray, I don't know. Uh, foraging uh, and resting? Yes, from morning to noon, uh, the in you have in the x axis y axis uh, indicates the probability of uh, the behavior and the x axis the time of day 
because the cleaning and flying remain constant while the probability of feeding decrease around 12, 12 p.m. and the, uh, the probability of resting increase. Uh, we have uh, next, next. Uh, according to the 95% uh, high density interval, indicating the highest probability, huge spoon will spend 11.7% uh, uh, more time foraging and 16.4% uh, less time resting than palmarine spoon beans. Palmarine individual capture more prey per unit of time with uh, seven. 0.6 prey by five minutes compared to compared with five, uh, five prey by five minutes at Juge. Next slide. Uh, next, we we are monitoring the behavior of single individual of spoonbill as function as time in Juge and Palmare. Uh, the focal data corresponds uh, very well visually to the scan data. Same strength in behavior probability for both type of observation. Uh, next slide. Uh, we have total of bonding individual observed. Dark gray and band resizing made light gray during the study. January uh, 2017 to October 2019, according to their banding country. The Netherlands, we have 41%. Spain, 34%. Uh, France, 21%. And Germany and Hungary, 2%. 2%. Next slide. Next, yes. Okay, next. A total of uh, uh, 5,617 observations were made over two winter periods, uh, 155 of which were ring reads. Uh, ringing individuals represent only 2.7% of all observations. Several ringing individuals were found in June during two or three consecutive winter. Next, um, two, two readings were made on the same individual at Juge and Palmarin, an exam of flictation between these two sites. Next, yes, this is uh, this in line with Navedo and Al, Locked and Al, the Gauge and Al, who state that Eurasian spoonbill are loyal to their wintering ground and that 80% uh, of North Dutch Netherlands spoonbill winter in Mauritania and Senegal. Next, yes. Yeah. We have, despite all the effort made by, by this species to survive, there are still threats to its survival. Uh, in the first picture, you have Russian spoonbill found it next to the planet fell in Palmarin, and spoonbill found it at Technopole. Next slide. Um, according to Triple and Al, uh, spoonbill habitat has uh, threatened so far the range of the different population and subspecies. The most important cause of mortality for the East Atlantic population during migration is poaching and collision with power cables, mainly in high lie urbanized area. Uh, next uh, is uh, habitat uh, loss throughout the proliferation of invasive plant is also one of the biggest threat on the spoonbill, especially in Jules Park in Senegal, which is their most important winter inside in Senegal. We have example in the picture for the invasive plant. plant. Next. 
In conclusion, uh, the results show that the Jute Park and Palmarine Reserve are very important wintering sites for the Eurasian Spoonbill, and that the Technopole is secondary or transit sites for the latter. The, the ecology of the, the species, which was monitored in 2017 and 2018, relative revelates that Jewish spoonbills spend more time foraging and less time resting than palmarine spoonbill. Also, the study of group behavior is similar to that of a single individual, individual whatever the site. However, only one exchange link could be established between the Jewish and palmarine site due to the lack of baggage data on the palmarine individual. Next slide. Yes, uh, for migratory water bird, we are shared resource, provide shared benefits, but also share responsibility and require share management and share research, orientation toward coherent conservation action. The basic principle of the flyway concept is sharing. Uh, next. Hmm. Okay. I would mm -hmm. like to thank my thesis supervisors. Is a Papa Ibrunjai is a researcher teacher in Department of Animal Biology in Sehante Job University, and Dr. S uh, Professor Sali Unjai, University of Chess, specialist of plant production and protection, a professor full for agronomist entomology, and Tony Priestma, uh, 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 yes, Tunis, who helped me learn a lot about uh, Spoonbill, has been a great support. He's a professor of Global Flyway Ecological Animal Ecology Group, Center for Ecological and Evolutionary Study, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science in University of Groningen, and he is senior research scientist and WADNC team leader, Department of Marine Ecology. And Jofra Sitegetse is my line manager in BirdLife International. He's an East Atlantic Flyway Initiative Manager. And Francesco Ortas, he uh, his amability to show me the video in spoonbill migration and Iowa regional training of ten taught workshop of flyway conservation for francophone country of Western and Central Africa in Cotonou in 2019. Next. Thank you for your attention.